There you go. Hey, Who is go. your legend of the week, Spencer Urquhart? That Who guy. brought you to the to the ascension of victory this week? One of your cheese heads, actually, Mr. Aaron Jones. <laughs> Gotta give Aaron Jones props, because, man, as much as I was all in with Josh Jacobs, I'm not taking a shot at Josh Jacobs here, but the bottom line is Aaron Jones has been my true RB1 in the listeners league. I have them both, and they're a great one-two punch, but, I mean, let's face it, Aaron Jones has been elite. I mean, this dude has been unbelievable, and I was in a close one with my dad, the OG Saints fan. Thought I might lose it, because I was like, damn, I was like, man, I had a couple guys that... Didn't really show out. Jacobs was one of them. All right, fine. I'm calling Jacobs. I'll get start doing better, Josh. But uh, <laughs> anyway, Aaron Jones, though, I got to say, my, my legends of the week. In, another great performance. Like this, I mean, because he can catch, run. He's a total package. He's a true workhorse. So, yeah, Aaron Jones got the points needed to, to bring me the dub. So he's my legend of the week. And also giving him a little props for what he's done before that. He's been my legend of the season, honestly. Legend of the season so far for the guru, Aaron Jones. And surprisingly, I have zero shares of Aaron Jones this year. I bought high in him last year and um, wasn't so sure, wasn't trying to overdraft him or anything, but he's been well worth the price in terms of an RB1. He's been phenomenal. Uh, Like you said, I think I was higher on Josh Jacobs coming into this season, but in a better offense, especially no Devontae Adams. They've been relying on him heavily in the run and in the pass game as well. My guy is also a running back and a guy who I have on a couple of teams and helped get me over the hump and get me to two victories this week with a spectacular performance and also was able to overcome him in one league where I played against him. Joe Burrow led Bengals two touchdowns on the ground. Also added six catches for 30 yards and a score himself. So my legend of the week, Spence, it's got to be Joe Mixon, a guy who we talked about this past week. <laughs> Joe Mixon. It's about damn time he does Whenever yeah, you talk bad struggling. about him, he starts playing well. So I know. Maybe he's yeah. paying attention. <laughs> yeah, like, I've been talking bad about him all year. Well, actually, i got to say this. So in my live Q&A Sunday, a lot of people were saying, oh, should I sit Mixon? Is he done? Should I just give up? I'm like, no, he's facing the Jags. It's like, this is a great get-right opportunity. If you stuck with him all this time, you got to start him against Jacksonville, and there he goes. So. Good thing you did. And how yeah. about Chris Carson coming back and playing last week? Oh, I was impressed by that. That saved me in some leagues. I was like, man, if I don't have Chris Carson, RV2 is going to be some poo-poo. But, hey, he came I, through for me. That was good to if see. If I had played him against you in the Beat Billy League, I would have won by much more. But I did not play him, did not have faith. And uh, I, I decided to put Devontae in the flex spot and uh, just ride it out from there in case he played. But I wasn't sure about Chris Carson. But, he, yeah, he came through and, and with a couple of touchdowns. That was certainly nice to see.